One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and we have two more videos this week for the wide receiver week here on the channel. And today, what we're going to be talking about is just one wide receiver, one guy that I think has the most to prove heading in. To 2019 this player is boom or bust this guy's either gonna be really really good or really really bad for us in 2019 and I'm very excited to see how he does and hopefully he ends up being a stud for us in 2019 because we need him to be and we need him to be bad but before we get into that video ladies and gentlemen make sure you hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you get notified every single time i drop a new video we are 60 subscribers away from the goal of 1000 subscribers so again hit subscribe to all your jags fan fan friends that you know to subscribe to treeb talks it will mean the world to me once i hit that 1000 subscriber goal ladies and gentlemen but anyway let's hop right into this video this is who has the most to prove for the Jaguars in the wide receiver room in 2019. So I teased you a little bit in the intro not telling you who this wide receiver is or who I think has the most to prove out of all these wide receivers in 2019. That's because I kind of wanted to get you guys guessing, you know. Uh, leave in the comments down below right here right now who you think this is going to be because it's not going to be in the title. I don't think if it is then this is going to be pointless. But tell me who you think it is in the comment section down below right now. Here, I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, you're done. Just stop commenting. If you comment now, you're a liar, because I'm going to tell you who it is. It's not Marquise Lee. I think Marquise Lee does have a lot to prove next year, but I think it's a different type of proving what he has to offer. He has a lot to prove as far as, you know, coming off of that injury and what he can produce for the team next year and how much of a leader he can be as well. It's not D.D. Westbrook, because D.D. Westbrook already is a stud. You know, there's not much he needs to prove next year. And it's not Terrell Pryor, even though Terrell Pryor could definitely be one of those guys that have a lot to prove. Uh, he did have a 1,000-yard season one year, but he's 29 years old and hasn't really reached that same potential he had uh, the year that he hit 1,000 yards. So I guess that's another good pick. You know, it could be Terrell Pryor, but it's not. That's not who I think has the most to prove, at least. That man is who has the most to prove in 2019 is Keelan Cole. I talked about Keelan Cole a little bit with Mr. Why You Mad, and, you know, he brought up a good point, you know. When he's out there and he's balling, we love him. But when he's out there and he's sucking, we hate him. You know, Keelan Cole is a man of two different seasons. 2017, we fell in love with this kid. You know, I made my Jags Origins video about him, talking about, you know, where he was before he had ended up in the NFL, he went to a D3 school that never produced any NFL talent. He's the first one. He was an undrafted wide receiver that the Jags picked up and ended up leading the Jags in receiving yards in 2017. He came into 2018, had that insane one-handed catch, and everybody was like, Keelan Cole, man, just like Alan Hearns, the Jags are geniuses at finding these undrafted wide receivers. But after that, you know, it's it's not even really Keelan Cole's fault. Basically, the whole team after, you know, we beat the Patriots. After we beat the Patriots, that's really when the team kind of just broke into shambles. You know, all the injuries, you know, Blake Bortles' this terrible year. You know, 2018 was just every single bad scenario that could have happened, happened. So I'm not going to necessarily put all of his flaws just on himself. But he led the team in drops last year. And that's even when Blake Bortles gives you an opportunity to catch the ball. When Blake Bortles throws a decent pass to you, I know it'll probably catch you off guard, and that's probably why you dropped it most of the times you dropped it, because you're like, wow, Blake actually threw this in my hands. But, you know, you're in the NFL. I understand that this guy was a Kentucky Wesleyan guy. He is a D3 talent, you know, undrafted. You know, we shouldn't expect so much from him. But the fact that he showed us what he could do in the NFL in 2017 we have a lot to expect from him, you know, going forward. And I think in 2018, he regressed, and he regressed hard. He took a big step back as far as, you know, his talent, his play, everything. Just a big step back from 2017 to 2018. And 2018 was hard to watch for Keelan Cole. Like I said in the beginning, led the team in drops. 
and it just he couldn't get open you know he would never be a leading receiver in any game you know he'd catch like three passes for 21 yards this isn't the same Keelan Cole from 2017 and what Keelan Cole needs to do this season is show that this Keelan Cole is the Keelan Cole from 2017 and he can ball out and he can contribute because if he does not show his worth I can see him getting cut but as of right now in OTAs it looks like him and Nick Foles are kind of developing that chemistry and you know it seems like he's always the one catching these deep balls because that's what he does best you know his deep route running ability and his ability to get open he's very speedy you know he can get open down the field that's basically been his saving grace but it's no good if you can get open deep but not catch the football, you know what I mean? So all these stupid mistakes that Keelan Cole made last year, you know, including his drops, his fumbles, everything like that, because he fumbled quite a bit too. I think he fumbled three times last year. Like, <clears throat> as a wide receiver, you can't be coughing off the bo- coughing up the ball like that, you know what I mean? So this is a guy that has that potential, and we've seen it. We have seen what Keelan Cole can do and what he brings to the table. But will he bring that same intensity and will he bring that same drive this season in 2019? I sure hope so. He has a lot to prove. That's why I said he definitely has the most to prove out of any one of these wide receivers that the Jaguars currently have. You know, and except for maybe Terrell Pryor or Marquise Lee. But Marquise Lee's definitely for a completely different re- They're all for different reasons. I think as far as a guy that in order to be on this team this season, he has to have a good training camp and good OTAs, you know, and for this guy to be on this team in the long term, you know, if he does make the roster and he's still out there dropping passes, you know, this is a guy that's not going to be around for much longer. He He's not going to get an offer from us and, you know, he's probably not going to get an offer from any other team. And that's why it's so important for these other players that we have to ball out this year and that's why I think this year is going to be very very good like I think we're going to have a awesome year because there's so many guys out here competing for contracts and they don't necessarily they're not necessarily competing for contracts to stay in Jacksonville like this is an audition tape to all these other all 31 other teams in the NFL that you have potential to go to them and play well and Keelan Cole is one of those guys where if he doesn't do that he's not going to find himself on another team Sure, they might look at his 2017 stats and say, look at that, you know, he did good. But if he continues to have two really bad back-to-back seasons, and on those back-to-back seasons, you know, he didn't produce and he didn't do much. He led the team in drops, all that. You know, you're not going to find another team. You're not going to find another destination. And that's just facts with Keelan Cole. And I want to see this guy succeed. I was a big Keelan Cole fan. That's He was the first ever Jags Origins video I did because I was a big fan of him. I liked what he brought to the table. You know, I liked his story. He wasn't even supposed to start, like, for his high school team. You know, he was holding PATs and field goals. Like, he didn't do much. That's all he did. And then he made his way into the NFL. Like, that story is cool. That story is badass. But it comes down to the fact if, do you want it? Like, do you want to be a good receiver? You have so much to prove next year, and you need to bring it to the table. Because us fans, you know, and all the other people that are watching you, from an expert standpoint, I guess you can say, they're all doubting you right now. Like They're looking at you and they're like, yeah, you know, we're not even going to consider Keelan Cole because as of now, Cole is basically buried in the depth chart. You know, this is another thing that he has to prove is that he could be one of these guys that are always constantly on the field. As of right now, I see it as D.D. Westbrook, Marquise Lee, and Chris Conley. Those are your three that are going to be on the field all the time. And then you got D.J. Chark, Keelan Cole, Terrell Pryor. Keelan Cole's going to have to be battling with Terrell Pryor, And Chris Conley for playing time. And Chris Conley's a guy that I think is going to play exceptionally, exceptionally well and, you know, find his way on the field. He's going to be there. And then you got a guy like Terrell Pryor, (coughs) who, though he has it in a long time, you know, showed that he could be this good wide receiver. He's still breathing down your neck. And you got an exciting guy that everyone wants to see play in DJ Chark. You know, Keelan Cole could be fifth or sixth on this depth chart easy, and he could also get cut really really easily and that's why I say he has the most to prove in 2019 he has the most to show and I think he has the potential to show it and he definitely has the potential to show why he deserves to be here and why he deserves to get that playing time because as of right now he's not getting it you know he's going to be buried in the depth chart underneath all these other wide receivers we have so Keelan Cole out of every wide receiver the Jaguars have heading into 2019 definitely has the most approved. Who do you guys think has the most approved? Do you think it's Marquise Lee? Do you think it is Terrell Pryor? Or do you agree with me that it's Keelan Cole? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
And that was what receiver has the most to prove in 2019. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.